Hey guys, we have another strange file to discuss today. As always, I'm Will, and let's take a look into William Morgan. Before we get into who William Morgan is, I must first explain why we are talking about a seemingly no-name person. Today, we are actually diving into the unknown of Freemason and Masons. Also, as another side note, when I refer to Masons and Freemasons, they are the same organization. They have just a bit of different meaning, and I want to explain as we go on. When I first started researching this topic, I, like many others, thought of Masons and Freemasons being different, but they are in fact the same. The term Freemason was the category, you could say, uh, they were given when they first came to America. The Freemason organization came with the settlers from Great Britain when America was first being colonized. While in the early stages, a Freemason was a person who was apprenticed in brickworking. Even today, people are still called Masons if they build with stone, although we typically say stonemason. Although they were related to brick workers, they still had another side to them. They would form small groups and have meetings where no one would know what is going on, unless you were remembered. Thirteen out of the 39 founding fathers were in fact Masons. Many of America's great leaders have been Masons, ranging from U.S. presidents, frontier explorers, and even civil rights leaders. The Masons have always had powerful members. In the early 1800s, New York, in my opinion, is what you'd call a hotbed for Mason activity. Even though they were anywhere and everywhere, New York had the highest concentration. That was the case for many years until William Morgan came along. Now, there isn't much to know about William Morgan. He was regarded as a drunk and never was taken seriously until one day he decided to infiltrate his local Masonic lodge in Batavia, New York. Morgan decided to act like a member from Canada where he lived briefly and owned a brewery until it was mysteriously burned down. Once he got in his local chapter, Morgan started documenting all the practices and ceremonies that these Masons performed. He started to gather enough evidence to write a book on what he called the strongest evidence of rottenness. Now that's not the name of the book, that's just kind of the catchphrase he gave it. Not long after he was hinting and hyping up his book, local Masonic chapters, including the one he infiltrated, had become fearful of what he had learned. On September 11, 1826, Morgan was arrested for a warrant for petty larceny, a charge most likely made up. The arresting party was a gang of local Masons, and he was later bailed out by the same gang, to never be seen again. It is said that the last words Morgan said before he was loaded onto a carriage was, Murderer. After Morgan's disappearance, it took many years for his book to be published. Even before the book was published, though, his disappearance led an uproar of anti-Mason organizations. The impact was national-wide within the month of his absence, and even caused soon-to-be president John Quincy Adams to lead his election campaign on the stance that he wasn't and never will be a Mason. Years later, in 1882, a pillar was erected of William Morgan by the National Christian Organization to pay respects for what he did. To explain what Morgan talked about in his book would take days, but I'll try my best to explain. Morgan's expose covered subject matter on how duties were performed and procedures during a meeting. It covered everywhere from new member joining to prayers that were said, even just the everyday things they did. Uh, his book goes into great detail about how he captured all this, and I'll leave the link down to a article that I found that had his full book. Today, Masonic lodges aren't really known for their scandalous works as they once were. Here in the South, you could find a lodge in every small town with their own dedicated building and weekly meeting night. Or maybe that's just what they want you to think, that there isn't much more going on. This has been Will, and stay strange.